So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, I'll show you a vlogging test example for the Fujifilm X-S10, which I have right here. Here you'll be able to see what the footage looks like on the default picture profile, not Fujifilm's F-Log and auto white balance. I recorded this particular clip at midday, roughly 1 p.m. PST standard time, and it was quite bright outside, so I was recording using a high aperture to maintain the proper shutter speed and ISO. I cover the specific settings used during the clip, but a quick note before we get into the video, I was using the built-in stereo microphones on this camera, which are right here. I did bring my Ceramonic Blink 500 wireless lavalier kit along with me, which I'm actually connected to right now for this video. Unfortunately, I didn't properly connect the lavalier, so the section of the video that I did with the Ceramonic Blink 500 for that test has no audio, and I forgot to bring my headphones to monitor the audio to prevent that specific issue, so uh, I'm sorry for that. Uh, I apologize for that one. Uh, even so, for vlogging, I think most of the built-in microphones on today's cameras do a great job of capturing quality audio outdoors so long as there's no wind and you can get usable audio for vlogging since you're only about two feet away from the microphone on the camera so while that's an accident and my apologies there's I think it's a good test to prove the point and showcase what you can expect if you don't use an external microphone setup for this particular camera. Otherwise though, I hope you find this clip insightful and that it gives you more insight into this camera's particular capabilities in this regard. Okay, so hello my friends. We are doing a quick vlog test with the Fujifilm X-S10 using the built-in microphones. Um, I've set the continuous autofocus to wide, autofocus C is on, face and eye detection are on. I'm using the 10 to 24 millimeter lens right now. Uh, and I'm at aperture 18, shutter speed 50th, ISO 160, 4K 24 frames per second. Uh, I'm using the built-in microphone. As you can hear, you're gonna definitely hear some background noise. I've adjusted the levels on the microphone to uh, get my audio to roughly about negative uh, 12 dB on the microphone uh, as I'm looking at the limits over here on screen. And again, I'm using the 10 to 24 millimeter F4 uh, lens um, and my aperture is at almost 22. I've almost maxed out this lap, the, the aperture on this particular lens. Uh, it's very bright outside today. I do have zebras on to make sure I'm not blowing uh, the exposure to, to death here. Um, and I'm definitely monitoring that. I'm, I'm seeing some highlights that we're gonna be clipping, but uh, do my best. Uh, I would prefer to be shooting at F4. And, uh, but we are here just doing a quick vlog test. Uh, you can see how the camera is going to be focusing here using this particular lens. I do have sunglasses on. It's a very bright day. We'll see how the face and eye detection are going to be doing here as I come in and out. I will be tossing on my uh, Blink 500 external lavalier here shortly as well. Um, hopefully it's not too dark. Um, it's kind of uh, uh, almost midday, so it's a tough time to, to be filming. Um, but I do have stabilization on on the camera and this is an optically stabilized lens as well. Uh, right now I am at uh, uh, 10 millimeters. So uh, I think that's 16 roughly, 16 or 17 millimeters um, effective focal length. And that is what I'm at. Um, I'm gonna zoom in right now as well. And we're gonna get it over to uh, about mid, which is gonna be 16. So that's gonna put me at maybe about 20 millimeters. Um, and you can see what that kind of looks like. Uh, I'm actually at 14. Oh yeah, so that's gonna put me. Uh, that's gonna put me about at 20 millimeters. So there you have it, my friends. There's a vlog test with the Fujifilm X-S10, and that's the image quality, audio quality, stabilization, and autofocus performance you can expect from this particular camera. If you have any questions or comments or concerns or feel like I've overlooked something over the course of this video, please let me know down below. Also, while you're down in the description box down below, we've launched a new brand called PX Presets. Com. PX Presets is going to be your next one and only stop for Lightroom presets until we launch Photoshop and other platform presets. But here you can find both desktop and mobile presets to get you started in a variety of different mediums more powerfully and upgrade your imaging and take your images to the next level. That link to pxpresets.com will be in the description box down below. Please check that out if you're in the market for some exciting Lightroom presets. But until next time, my friends, I've been your host, Devon Lennox. I will see you in the next video.